Hey, what's up guys? So, wanted to start the series finally. Um, once a week, I want to make videos about how I'm going to be going about healing myself from the autoimmune disease. Um, but today, I actually have a special video which I've been wanting to make for some time, for a month, I've been thinking about it. Uh, so I thought, you know, take the, take the time to make this one today and then from next week, I'm going to start the thing from autoimmune. So this video is about my prediction on a, um, a company that I'm looking forward to really follow and scale and, and watch them scale. And basically it's a company that, that was started uh, not too long ago, I think about a year ago. And uh, the founder, the owner of the company is actually the reason I started my agency. And if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you'd know that person is Alex Becker. So um, what I wanted to do in this video is because what I realized is there's this entire concept, not just concept, but like, you know, a whole amount of people, good, good, good like a good uh, number of people that kind of hate on him and uh, you know hold this thing against Alex based on like things he did in the past or like you know products he sold in the past where uh, they felt that you know it didn't really deliver what he said it's going to and all this kind of stuff. So I wanted to take the time because you know I wasn't aware that there was like you know all these people who felt like this strongly against Alex and stuff like that. Uh, um, I wasn't really aware. I always, I thought that he's like, it's clearly people look up to another leader in the space. But since I started to, you know, read a bit more with all the time I have now, um, I realized that, you know, there, there's, there's a good amount of people who really point that shit out and hold him to it. So I wanted to make this video kind of summarizing from my point of view, my opinion of the journey that Alex went through over like the last whatever you know uh, um three four years right i mean that's pretty much as far as back i can see when i when i started uh like about um uh you know started really getting into getting into it like end of 2017 uh at 2018 like that and that's when i really started to follow him uh and well i mean i started following him right even in the beginning more so and then i ventured out to other people who are in this year space uh, because Alex had already moved on from selling SU and stuff. But the point is, I want to just give my take on what I believe is really like the accurate version of this guy, what I think his legacy is, and, uh, you know, so far. And, uh, in the end, I will make some, uh, things I'm looking forward to happening through that, that, that he's doing with his new software, Hyros. So it goes like this. We're in this little community, right? This new community is actually not that big compared to like uh, Facebook ads and stuff like that, where, um, you know, some of the gurus are much bigger, right? Sam Robbins and, you know, they have courses. And I think that it is just generally speaking, a lot more pay people take it as a business model to help other businesses, local or not, with social media and Facebook ads than um than than seo from from what it seems to me and this space right with seo and really doing it for local businesses doesn't really seem like it blew up until a guy like alex wanted it to like he kind of made it happen if you look before alex like it's hard to find any kind of trace where somebody was able to really be that front face and market this model to beginners and really able to like, you know, blow it up. And I'm one of the people who was in his funnel, right? When he was doing a uh, source wave, which I realized like when I was trying to research some stuff for this video, I, I realized like they, they deleted a lot of those videos, if not all of them, that the whole channel just seems uh, some, something weird right now. But he had a lot of videos and for a good while, he, Alex was like the, um, what would you say? Like, he, like the Eminem, <laughs> like the Eminem of rap, Eminem of SEO. 
And and he had so many videos. I remember hundreds of thousand views. He was like literally the only YouTuber that had um, you know the, this entire like whole bunch of free videos on um, how to you know uh, grow grow a business model, be a consultant in this manner. Um, uh, that I should you know watch like every single one of them in 2017. And till he left, till he left the SEO space. And went to like kind of first ventured out into selling software for SEO. Um, uh, you know, other people were using SEO, and then he went into you know other stuff like what you see him in like 2018 and stuff with Market Hero and all these other like couple of the companies he opened. Since then, I feel like nobody still was able to take that throne until he deleted his videos. Yeah, there's some people now like making some videos here and there. Out of them, maybe I would say Juan Marino is uh, um, pretty cool. All the other ones, I think, is like just doesn't have that level of charm. <laughs> Again, I said like you know this is like a something that's gonna be subjective and, and you know opinion based. But when you really compare, like if even if you watch Alex's videos nowadays, you can tell like a guy when he talks is is it's almost like he can sell you into certain things, certain ideas without even trying. It's it's it's, it's probably because of the way he has been doing it for so long, along with. I think the amount of practice he puts in and I'm just writing like sales copy and stuff like that, one of them has to be it. Because when I watch his video, I mean, this is literally the only person who's ever able to do this to me. Um, 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 and then, you know, salesmen think they have this, right? Like, um, every salesman has a story when like, uh, uh, you know, they say like, oh yeah, this is my go-to, you know, way. And I have had times when I do this, uh, the client, uh, you know, wasn't even gonna buy, but they couldn't help it to say yes. It's almost like a force forcing them, and, and they they had to like go and they they, they sign the contract or they made the purchase because I'm so good at closing, right? Every like salesman who has you know sold some shit, uh, um, 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 you know, I, I see, I feel like has some kind of story like that or like a or like a sentence they use. In my experience, there's actually nine nine out of ten times almost ten out of ten times there's no such thing like that in sales you know it's really based on the process and, 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 and the discipline you put behind it but the point was I remember having times when I would be like okay let me just go see what Alex is doing right now he looks like he's doing a lot of uh, videos this was like in 2018 right 2018 maybe even beginning of 2019 and I sort of got I'd go to watch his webinar to see how he sell it, right? I'm just there to learn how to sell better and how he's like, you know, putting the uh, uh, slides and how he's going through the thought processes in his like, you know, sales uh, um, webinar basically. And I would end up buying the product because in the end, he put so much value and it give you an offer that's like dumb no brainer, right? Like especially for the first month, something like, like, I don't know what it was, but it happened to me several times. And since then, I, I always regarded this guy as um, really like top level, right? Like, and I thought it was well known in the industry. So it's eight minutes now, I can probably not talk a lot longer. <laughs> so I'm gonna to try to conclude, you know, take this video to, uh, towards wrapping up and talking about what I think is gonna happen um, in the near future. But the point is, I wanted to make a statement where the people who are hating on him, I can only conclude that there's one out of two. One, you're just a, you know, you're just a nobody. Like, you know, probably, I'm pretty sure most of these people are just like fucking have dead end jobs. I'm almost positive. They just have a job that they hate. Like the typical, you know, hater. That's, that's one side. But the other side I think is all the gurus that fell for his products and then they just didn't really like the delivery, possibly. And that, that is a good amount. I was actually one of them. Um, um, most of his products, I would say actually is pretty good. His free products were a lot better than the paid ones. And for some of them, especially in the beginning ones in 2017, 18, when I was looking at uh, like his free course, how to do on-page SEO. Fuck man, that shit was like the, um, like the Kyle Roof's case study of that time. And he had that shit like years before the guys who have it now. And he didn't even bluff it at that level. Really, like, 
he had certain things going from him and he still does in his own you know in his in his new businesses that that is really unparalleled and um um the point i was trying to make is gurus who bought those products fell for it are probably pissed and i think they might you know they don't push that agenda but they have that grudge they hold on to alex right and i could be one of those guys right one of the products i bought for alex i, I remember this one clearly was just like backlinks like hey we'll do that to you for your clients uh, and, you know, buy this package of backlinks. I never even, I don't know if I even saw in backlinks after it happened. I was like, what the hell? What's going on? And like literally after like two months, they changed another, to another business model. This is around the time, like when they were like, when him and his partners were like just jumping from business model, this model, I couldn't even keep up. And, you know, I could have been one of those, I can be one of those people like, yeah, you know, he sells products that don't work and all this bullshit. But in doing so, you would be missing the entire point of having someone this great at what they do, right? Somebody for free that you can check out, can listen to, see the history. I mean, I wish if, if I if I was back in time, I would have just recorded every single one of these videos in source code and just kept it, just kept it as like a um, as like treasure. Um, the only person I ever done this with is a guy called Elliot Hulse for in the in the fitness and you know um, overall like. Become a better man, you could say. You know, community. Um, um, that's when I like, literally, uh, in 2014, 13, 14, whatever, when I first uh, came to America. But the point was, um, these are the two types of people I think is really coming on, right? They, they, they fell for his marketing, his salesmanship, and 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 then didn't get you know the best delivery, you could say, in the past. And here is where comes the last part of this, right? Like I made my point. Like I truly hold Alex as the one of the top guys in that when it comes to marketing and everything. And and last thing I'll say about this, all these like a lot of these gurus, they're the same. But they just they just hate that they do. Right? They, they they're probably like uh, mad that they fell for his stuff. But if you really look into it, most gurus, whenever they're trying to market something, I would be nine out of ten in the SEO space has at some point looked up that Alex. At some point, they would want to see what kind of ads this guy is running just to see what's working right now. Because they know his pulse on attention is 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 quite second to none, right? Like in, a, in this space, in this small community I'm saying, like, you know, in the SEO space, Alex is an SEO guy. He used to sell SEO, he SEO software. Now he's doing other stuff, but I see him as that you know, in the community, right? Against other people I bought courses from, I see them in the same bubble. And it's really good for me to see how people grow over time. Because, like, okay, let me just make this point before I go into it. This is one of the biggest ways, I think, is to, is to learn as, and grow as a person in this community, right? As you're buying courses, you see the growth, right? It's a very important part that I just missed, uh, completely missed out uh, while, while I'm explaining all this other stuff, right? Seeing the growth of these agency owners, I mean, uh, uh, um, like gurus or course creators, really helps us see how people transpire to be and their progression in their career as, as times pass, right? It's, it's such a good way to track who they really are as a person. For example, Okay, no, I'm not going to name names, but I'll give like a way you can filter. Let's say in 2018, I bought somebody's course for SEO. Yeah, my hair's getting in the way. And then it was shitty. I tried it, doesn't work, no benefit, bullshit. And then that's, that's it. In 2019 or 2020, let's say, some time passes, they sell their course stuff again, it windows out, it goes to shit or something changes in the algorithm, whatever they call it. Um, and then let's say right now, they come up with a new thing. I, I'm i not gonna really buy from that person anymore, right? Because I'm not gonna like, once I try somebody and it's like completely utter bullshit, I, I generally am like turned off and I'm not gonna be a buyer again. But I sometimes take a look, I'm like, okay, what is this product, right? Let me see the landing page. What are they pointing out to? What are the, what is the product they're actually selling? And if it's along the same lines, right? I'm like, oh, 
just another little technique you guys are showing. Um, oh, so another little gimmick you're trying to push that's not going to really help the customers. Okay, cool. They did that in 2018. Now they're doing it again in 2020. Now my respect is completely lost. 2018, it happened, didn't work. It's like, okay, all right, that didn't work. Come on, I'm not going to probably buy most of the shit. I see them do the same shit like two years after, one year after, I'm like, okay, two years after, same kind of thing. I'm like, you, you're, you just don't mean a lot to me. You're just a piece of shit. <laughs> Basically, that's how I see it. Alex is not in that bucket. He went through multiple levels of growth in, in such a short amount of time that it's hard to keep up, right? This guy, what, 20, when I start, first started seeing him and I had like no clients, he was, um, I think he was selling a seal. I think his business was doing like a couple hundred thousand dollars per month at that time. Then he went to, um, uh, you know, a lot of softwares, a few softwares for SEO with, um, I forgot the name. They were all like source something, right? Cool. I got to kind of see that. I didn't understand anything about softwares at that time, but I got to see how the person I, I was following is, is going into. Then this guy wanted, you know, went into all these other products with like uh, Spectre and, you know, like all this other stuff that, that, you know, I couldn't really keep up with, but he does make videos about it. So I watched those and, and from time to time I realized like, okay, this is how he, you know, progressed. The whole time there's, there's progress. He's going fast. He's, he's going rapidly. He's not in the same plane doing the same shit. He's, he's figuring out like from SEO. Then like software, completely different, right? You have to like get with developers on whatever. Like I have no idea, but I know it's hard. Like it's not, it's a completely different skill set. Then he goes into uh, this other stuff that has completely to do with like different skill sets, right? I'm not uh, like there's a difference you have to pick up. It's not it's not just the same as like jumping ship to other stuff that's in the same. I'm talking about stuff that is difficult and you need like balls to go for. Right when he went for Market Hero and he explained like how much money he's losing and making this software, you know, forty, fifty thousand dollars a month, trying to learn how to manage developers and everything. That tells me again, like, okay, this guy's really challenging himself to go to the next level, right? I mean, he could just stay at making three, four hundred thousand dollars if he wanted and just stay at that plane. You know, that's really good money. But no, he's spending a lot of his money and sinking into this other thing that has considerably lower chance of working out because there's less people who successfully did it. And would he pull through? Not to mention, oh, this is just the personal side. All these other people like, you know, taking shots at the guy with like, oh, you know, he's not with his girlfriend anymore. This guy works so much. He couldn't even keep a relationship. It's like, shut the fuck up. Right, most of you people watching, you probably, like you either probably settled for some shit or like, I don't even want to get into this, but like, but, but if you look at his girlfriend, right? I mean, she looks like she's pretty hot and, and more importantly, she looks like she does something. Like I forgot, I don't, I don't know what she, I, like I, I forgot the last time she was mentioned or whatever, but I think I saw sometime last year, uh, his current girlfriend, Rachel, uh, um, um, like she, she has a, like a pretty uh, high performance career, right? I kind of just made the word up, but basically she's going somewhere, which is hard to get, right? Like very good looking person who's also doing great shit. And you're going to be being an entrepreneur at a high level and maintain that relationship. That's some difficult fucking shit. That, that really the reason I'm explaining this is because one, people, a lot of people stab at him for this. And number two, I personally go like feel this. I am. At the right now, as I'm speaking, I still have this dilemma, like, you know, with this whole thing, how, you know, my girlfriend is part of the agency. She's like the account manager. I, 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 think, I think from time to time, I'm like, man, you know, it's great that, you know, she's, she's been with me so she can, you know, handle that part pretty well. But how long would I do this and, you know, let her be in the shadows? When, wouldn't it be great if she was to venture out and do and her own way, whatever it may be, and, you know, exploring her own creativity in some other venture, because we're both so young, and so she doesn't have to live in my shadows. Deep shit, very personal, difficult things to face. Guys, face it. 
guy's facing it head on and he puts it head on. Growth is a big thing for me and nobody takes it into account. It's almost like if you just don't show yourself, then, then you're, you're regarded as like neutral. You know, you, even if you sell bullshit, you're regarded as neutral. But if you show yourself and you put yourself in the upfront, like forefront to the public, then people will stab at you. I guess it just makes sense. But the public overlooks this difficult type growth. Relationships, business, leadership, right? A lot of this like new type of um, things he's doing, softwares and stuff takes a lot of leadership because you have to really like lead a group of people that, um, you know, whatever, whatever it may be that, that you, know, you don't have a skill set in that, 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 that is very difficult. It's one of the scariest shit to me, right? And I'm just like, I'm just talking about what, like possibly being able to hire, hire a salesman for, for the stuff I'm already good at. Imagine hiring for something that like you don't code and you want to get a group of developers. Anyways, it's getting to the point where we're getting head pressure. All right. So here it comes. The grand finale, right? For a person like this, who can do the things that I just said, who can really have his crap down to a point where one can go to observe his sales presentation, observe a webinar he did, and they end up buying? What could possibly go through the head of this person? That like, damn, I can sell like this. My copy is this level. My marketing is this level. I went through multiple models over the last couple of years. And I pulled through. If there was ever a time for a person like this to bank and go hard on, this would be when they have a product that actually delivers flawlessly. If there's ever one strong burning pot for a person of this caliber, that would be that. That, damn, if I was pushing a product that is, you know, actually next level, a market leading product could say some kind of software that, that, um, you know, it's one of its own kind, that there's like not really much more competitors, has a moat and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's not like something that you just like, everybody can just start and become, you know, you have thousands of competitors. You know, a software that really drives the results in of itself, meaning the customers would stay on it and pay for it because of the results they got, not just because of how good he's at marketing and sales. That time is here. That software is hers. The match has been made and clicked like anything I've seen it emerge from the SEO community since I since I've been in it. With his skills, <laughs> with his marketing, his sales, and the experience he has as a person, the shit he went through, the product that he is pushing right now, fucking hell. Here comes my prediction. This is gonna be this, like like what just by the end of this year or, or in 2021. Let's say 2021, it's an eight figure company. It, it, it's going to be doing a million dollars a month plus. Done. That's the first thing. The second thing is within two years, I would say, right from now. So by the end of 2022, this company is going to be worth hundred million dollars. Nine figure valuation, eight figure like revenue. And I am so looking forward to have this play out and, and you know, be as a, be able to just see one of the people who actually came from doing SEO, just like us, you know, all of us who's doing clients and stuff, and emerge to a level of this, this, this kind. 
much respect. Peace. Gotta go drink some tea now.